Welcome to Adapt Enclase. The Enclase is doable. And how? You have to master how to approach questions. I have questions on maternity to show you strategy to answer questions. They are concepts. You already know them. But you got to pick the answers. The answers may be closed. But learn how to pick answers. Break down the question. Let's look at this. Number one question. What is the short question? What should the nurse do first? Prioritization. First, if you have one second, what would you do? The client, G1P0, she's 37 weeks. In labor, memory is spontaneously ruptured. This is the baby inside. The memory ruptured. All the fluid comes out. That's all. We write a question. I have a lady with the spontaneous memory rupture. What do you think is the problem? You have to bring the content to answer this question. You can guess. You can look at the answer choice and try to make things. I want you to make sense before you look at the answer choice. And that is the key. You know that when the memory rupture, there's no more what fluid around the baby. And so the placenta can slip down and you can have cord prolapse. That's key. Every time you hear memory rupture, think about cord prolapse. This is the content I want you to pay. When you master the content, it's easy. I know memory rupture, the first thing that came to my mind, cord prolapse. And therefore I need to do something to prevent cord prolapse, right? That's all. What will happen? Put on the gloves and prepare for imminent delivery? No, memory rupture all the time. It can occur any time during labor. So it's not, it's not, you don't, there's no need for imminent delivery. The baby may not be ready to come. Call the primary care doctor. Yeah, it's important, but that's not the priority, okay? Not the color and the amount. Yes, it's fine, but it's not the priority. You want to know if there's meconium in it. Yeah. If there's a cord prolapse, what is going to happen to the kid? It's going to have fetal distress. Assess the fetal heart rate and see if you have this acceleration. And then you will know that there's something going on, like the baby is, not in, is in trouble. So whenever you hear rapture of memory, Think about cord prolapse and assess the baby. Fetal heart rate is the best way. It's just strategy and content together. Same patient, we're going to use the same patient and answer the same question. What should the nurse do first? Prioritization. A client, G1P037 weeks, was admitted to the labor and delivery ward while having what? Contraction. She screamed at the nurse saying, the baby is here and coming fast. Baby is here and is coming fast. Rewrite a question. All he's saying is, what do you do first when you hear somebody who is having imminent delivery? Baby is here. This is not going to help you. Assessing the baby heart rate, you can do that anytime. Baby is coming and he's here, coming fast. You got to be, what, safe. So the safety of the mother and the baby is the most important when they come to emanate. And this is what she said. He's here and he's coming. For the doctor, you may not have time. Wear sterile gloves and prepare to deliver the baby. If you're alone, you have to do that. Obtaining history can be done anytime. Prioritization. Number three. So you can stop the video, answer them, and see, then you see how I approach it. Number three. What should the nurse do next? Prioritization. A client, G1, P0, 37 weeks, just deliver, and the baby was given to the mother right away. You deliver, and they gave the, you the baby right away after the baby came out. What do you think the mother something need to be done what is the next thing you should do that's what the question asks you what is the next um action the next should take baby come out you give the baby to the mother right now safety 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 you remember i've got scored how they do 
Yes. And the most priority function for this is airway. So putting a bracelet is fine, but it's not going to be a priority. I want to make sure this kid is breathing. Check the baby vitals is fine, but I want to make sure he's breathing. Clear baby nose and mouth with syringe. They sound much better. Place warm blanket on the baby. It's fine, but airway is my friend. If I clear the nose and the mouth, I know baby is doing okay, then we can put blanket on, we can check virus, we can put a bracelet. But prioritization is something that you one second to do. Clear the baby nose and mouth with the syringe. All the questions are prioritization. Straightforward questions, just five quick questions. What should the nurse suspect? A client, G1P0, 37 weeks in labor, the same patient. The nurse noted what? A sustained rise of fetal heart rate from 145 to 180 baseline. Because basically, baby heart rate was usually 145. All of a sudden, it's 180 and it stayed there. What do you think is causing the problem? Opiate administration or prolapse? Placenta insufficiency or maternal fever? Look at the answers carefully. Do you see any commonality between them? If you not analyze it and look at the side effect of the process that you see. If I give you opioid, what does it do? Respiratory depression. It can drop the baby heart rate also. So heart rate can go down. So it is not going to give you a heart rate. Called prolapse, yeah, the baby is not going to get any oxygen. It's going to be in distress. When they're in distress, what features do you see? You don't see acceleration. You see bradycardia. So this cannot be. Same thing, placenta insufficiency will lead to bradycardia. When the mommy has fever, you have tachycardia. So that's the easy way to answer this question using that strategy. Quick maternal uh, maternity question just to stimulate your mind. If you need more of this, check out that thing class. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.